Hello, this is Katherine Dubberly, the answer lady. I'm a big fan of KISS looms, and I am cooperating with Kelly at KISS to present to you a whole series of looming techniques, especially for KISS. We're going to do this on all sorts of KISS looms, so you get to see every basic technique on your own loom. Welcome and enjoy! Now let's do the purl stitch on the small gauge loom. I have wrapped in the U-wrap stitch knit stitches that are leading up to my purl stitches, but I haven't knitted them all off yet. This is one standard way of doing a row that contains both knits and purls. Now this is a purl stitch. I've wrapped part way around. I'm going to stick my tool through the original stitch from up to down, grab the new yarn, flip the tool, lift it up, and seat the new stitch on the peg. In this case, and in many cases, it needs me to manually tighten it up now. Let's do that again. The red markers are stitch markers telling me that these are my purl stitches. Flip it up, lift it, seat it. Now I have four more knit stitches, which I'll just wrap, and we'll move on to the next purl stitches. Here we come around the peg for a purl, and here is where that opening in the peg is a real help because it tells us exactly where to insert the tip of the tool and flip it around and lift it up. Now my next four stitches are also purls, so I'm going to keep going. This is purling with the regular loom pick. There is another method and we'll work on that in another video. Flip, catching a loop, lift, replace, adjust. Make sure you go around behind the pin, in front of the peg, through the loop, catch the yarn, lift, replace. And that's the purl stitch with the regular loom tool.